Around two months ago, I decided it was finally time to start my game dev journey and make my very first game. Ooh. Uh, I know it's bad, but I promise it gets better. And that's what brings us to today, where I'll be showing you my two month game development progress. Wait a minute. I've posted around five videos already and I've never introduced myself. So hello everybody, my name is Glee, and I'm a second year computer science student who loves programming and art. I've always had this urge to make my characters come to life when it comes to drawing and things like that, so this channel is a way for me to unleash my creativity to the fullest. And maybe, who knows, meet other artists along the way and other game developers. Now that you finally know who I am, let me tell you about the first game that I ever made. It was a top-down tank shooter. And not just any top-down game, it was a 3D tank shooter game, because I didn't want to bother and deal with 2D. But can we call it a tank shooter game? Usually, you have an enemy on the opposite side. An AI, even. But look at what my enemy tank could do. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Someone please prove me wrong, but that is the worst enemy movement in existence. Like the tank just, I literally just wrote code for the tank to avoid walls. That's why I ended up doing so bad, because I didn't know any of the basics of game development. I just saw a little tutorial of Godot and thought, huh, I can make a whole game, which I thought wrong. And maybe I was wrong, but I at least started and gave it a try. Which means, even though I didn't fully succeed, I succeeded somewhat. Anyways, that was basically it. Let's keep in mind all the skills that I learned along the way. So for level one, which is this game, I gained the ability to make a basic movement controller. And the second skill was the ability to add sound effects and music. As for my second game, you would think that it would be better than the first. Well, you're wrong. It's just as horrible <laughs> and maybe even worse. The key difference with this game is that I made it using Unity. And you might be wondering, why did you switch from Godot to Unity? Well, grandma, it's because Unity uses a language called C Sharp, and C Sharp is very close to another language that I know called Java. Now, if we go back to what I was saying, this second game that I made is what helped me get familiar with Unity's UI. And I'd say it also even helped me learn the basics of making a game. I still didn't know how to load a scene, but at least we're in Unity now. Woo! So far, you guys can probably tell how boring and simple my previous games are. You know, they don't have any game loops, and it just seems pretty boring overall. But my third game is where things finally get juicy. You see, as I was finishing a game that was part of a course made by gamedev.tv, they're amazing by the way, go check them out. I decided what a better way to test my knowledge than to code and model the whole game from scratch. And that's exactly what I did. But before I go on to show you the whole process and models, let me first tell you what the game is about. You basically play as a rocket ship. A rocket ship in a planet where the gravity feels like the moon. And you're supposed to evade obstacles and make it to a launch pad on the opposite side. It's like Flappy Bird, but with a destination. And so far, you might have realized, wait a minute. The game we're seeing right now sounds like the one he's talking about. And that's because that's my game. Now I can really go and show you the whole process it took to make this game. For this game, I really wanted everything to be neat and organized. You know? The past projects that I had, I never tend to finish them because they tend to go out of scope and <laughs> my skills aren't up there yet. But for this game, I really organized what I wanted to happen. I was just about to show you guys some footage of all the 3D models I worked on in Blender, but with my luck, it turns out I forgot to record. So here are the models in their final state. And before you guys come at me in the comments, I know what you guys are thinking, they look horrible but I'm very proud of them regardless because it's something that I made. And not to mention that this taught me so many things. Anyways, that's all for today. With school and all, this video took a really long time to make and I really don't want the same thing to happen. So I'll end it here and see you guys on the next one.